Hi, this is Amanda. Today we will be starting chapter 19, which is human biology, more specifically the control and development of the human body. The lecture today will help you understand the organization of the human body and how we maintain homeostasis. In our body, we have cells that are organized into tissues, organs, and organ systems. A tissue is a group of similar cells that performs a certain function. We have four main types of tissues in our body. The first is epithelial, like our skin. Second is connective tissue, like our bone, cartilage, and blood. The third type is muscle tissue, which we find in our skeletal, digestive, and cardiac systems. And the fourth kind is nervous tissue, which is found in the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. This is an example of what a tissue looks like in our body. An organ is a structure in the body that has a specific function. Our tissues make up our organs, like our heart, stomach, and brain. And this is a picture of our heart. And finally, an organ system is responsible for a particular body function. Um, a mul when multiple organs work together, they make up our organ systems. We have 10 major organ systems in our bodies. The first is our nervous system. Second is our sensory system. Third is the endocrine system. Fourth is the reproductive system. Fifth, we have our muscular and skeletal systems. Sixth is the circulatory system. Seventh, we have our respiratory system. Eight is the digestive system. Ninth is the excretory system. And finally, we have our immune system. The next few sections, we'll take a look at each system more in depth. Now on to homeostasis. Um, homeostasis is the maintenance of a relatively stable environment, which is a characteristic of all living organisms. Some examples of homeostasis include our body temperature, which stays close to about 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, the oxygen levels of our blood. For instance, when we exercise, we use more oxygen, so our body makes us breathe harder in order to take in more oxygen. A few more examples include the amount of water in our body, the concentration of ions inside and outside of our cells, and our blood pH level. Feedback regulation describes a system of control in which changes in one variable affect a second variable, and changes in the second variable in turn affect the first variable. We see this when our body temperature tries to remain stable regardless of the outside temperature. When it's cold, we shiver to generate heat and warm up our body. And when it's too hot, our body starts to sweat. And when the water, or sorry, whenever the sweat evaporates, it then cools our body. And that concludes my lecture today. Thank you for listening.